and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Vladimir Swain. Always like playing some Vladimir, so let's try out Vladimir with a whole bunch of new toys. We got a lot of new stuff in this deck. Um, you know, so we're playing a, a self damage deck, so we got three Ruthless Raiders in here because it has that toughness, so it takes one less damage from each source, which is important because we have uh, we're pairing that with like Ember Maiden, which can do one to everything. And that's a that's a pretty important thing, like against aggro decks, being able to do one damage to all of your opponent's stuff. Also keep your Ruthless Raider alive. Um, then as far as uh, Crimson units, we got two. We got Crimson Disciple, maybe the best one, and then Crimson Curator. We just have, but like we're not really focusing too hard on the Crimson stuff. We just have two of the, the Crimson cards. But then yeah, at the top end. Um, we have Swain for whenever we've dealt 12 non-combat damage to be able to um, level up. And also Vladimir, when we've had six things um, take damage, we get to level up. So we have, you know, Swain and Vladimir at our top end. Got the Leviathan to go find at the Swain for us. This is a deck that that um, a viewer in chat submitted uh, that uh, from yesterday. And um, it looks pretty sweet. I played one game earlier, and it felt good, so... Let's get, get to it. We have a whole bunch of different removal and interaction uh, that we get to use for different situations. So let's get to it. Let's see how it works. Vladimir Swain. Yeah, toughness looks like just a great ability right now with like make it rain everywhere, twisted fate. Like every, there's so much deal one damage. Um, <clears throat> so being able to... Like, never take one exactly one point of damage is really important. Misfortune. You know, attacking, dealing one damage. Let's keep one elixir of iron. Looking for some more units. What's up, Alex Unknown? Yeah, having a great day. Thank you. Hope you're having a great day, too. A lot of people in chat today. A lot of people coming in saying, hope you're having a good day. It's really nice. Thanks, everybody. This does seem like a great Culling Strike matchup. Both of their champions have, three, have exactly three power. So Culling Strike can kill either one. And we can play Culling Strike and Crimson Curator. needed another like unit to play here on turn four so this one gets me another one they're multiplying There's plenty of killing left. yeah number 15 this is your deck Okay, yeah, you yeah, you've had the transfusions as well. It is a pretty great card. I agree. Um, well, can't do too much about that now. Hmm. Basically just doing that to get this curator back to three toughness. 
So they want to challenge it with the Fleet Feather Tracker. These Bright Seal Protectors have been great, though. I need to double spell. I need to have Curator and Culling Strike. I need to cast Culling Strike now. Oh, wow. They're not doing any other attacks? Oh, right, because that thing has Scout. Right. Right. Uh, yeah, that's bad. I'm going to go down to three. Protect and strike. My steel is yours. Yeah, Scout's pretty good. Yeah, right now, aggro is... Uh, yeah, aggro is pretty prevalent in the metagame right now, but... Um, I'll stop you. you know, we're... We're, what, two days? Like, this... Yeah, like, we're two days after the release date. It's... That's very... Gets me and my yeah, that's a very common thing for aggro to be oh, uh, prevalent... Wait. right away. Shot at your head. Still hearts steady aim. Um, so by calling strike Quinn block. Here, they get the 4-4, four, four, they attack out. I guess I'm dead. Yeah, I... Other option is I block here, block here. Then I can Ravenous Flock to kill Quinn. I can Culling Strike kill the Valor. But they still have three at that, that point they still have three attackers and i have two blockers so i'm still dead i can't i mean i can't use uh, i can't use ravenous block for anything it's only deal four if it's damaged or stunned okay well they also had that so they have any units that were damaged or stunned too slow of a hand for me. 
my mulligan did not help me out. And they had a really good hand. Like those bright seal protectors, you know, th those they were just cheaper threats than anything I had and just got them ahead and did a lot of damage. So GG's. Whoa, what's up, Maverick? What is up? Good day, Maverick. Another Quinn deck. I'm going to be replacing the Curator. That card's kind of slow. Going a little more aggressive here. Yeah, Ravenous Flux. Yeah, it's a good card. It, um... I don't necessarily think it's, like, too strong or anything for one mana, because, you know, it is conditional. Cool, no Brittle Steel. I would have been sad if there was a Brittle Steel. Badger Bear. Let the flames take you. So, like, next turn we can double spell with both the two drops. These are man of the best. Um, oh, I'm, I'm glad they're not attacking, but yeah, this round start does one to everything. So now that thing's a 4-3. Um, do I want to go straight to combat? Or do I want to do this first? I don't want to go straight to combat. No. We'll do this first. I've got your back. All right. If they don't break, they'll burn. Hey. Mike with that resub. You Thank you, Mike. You're covered. <laughs> Is that all? All right, Vladimir. So I didn't do the damage on the Crimson Disciple because then it would have the one toughness left after that after that other three one, and so then with the one toughness, it'd be dying to my Vladimir. This would be a good time to draw Swain. Yeah, Swain's already leveled up too. Ooh, that's not a bad draw either. I'll just cast that twice. Attack first. I'm absolutely fine. There's fashionably late, and then there's this. Let it flow. Shield up. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, what do they got? They got a Quinn. Hoping they don't do too damage to my Vladimir. Vladimir has regeneration. It's a sweet Noxian guillotine. No, what is this? Whatever it is, I don't like it. A rally? Yep, don't like it. Scouting ahead. Don't like it one bit. Now they get another attack. So that's not broken or anything. Valor. Yeah, I don't like that one bit. My Vladimir needed that card. Needed one more mana. Elixir of Iron. Still heart, steady Yeah, rally on a bone stern with Gwyn. That looked real good. Nothing gets between me and my mark. Seriously? We're gonna be doing the the Quinn deck, uh, I guess up fifth, Bannerman Quinn. Basically, you know, kind of similar to what they're doing here, Bannerman with Quinn. Good, that's the exact block I wanted them to make. So harsh. So harsh. Alright, come on, Swain. Nope. Scouting ahead. For the Empire. We need more champs. We only drew the one Vladimir. I'll take another Vladimir, I'll take a Swain. Oh gosh. Cythria. GG's. Come on, Noxion Guillotine. Yeah, Leviathan. Oh, man. I forgot about Leviathan. Yeah, Leviathan would have been a great draw. Yeah, that would have been a great draw. I mean, yeah, it was them killing that Vladimir, that rally that they had was huge. I was thinking that they weren't going to be able to kill the Vladimir, but they did. All right, Fizz is the only champ. Seems like a very good anti-Fizz hand with the Death Lotus and the Ember Maiden being able to kill Fizz.
Leviathan. Dude, Leviathan would have been a great draw last game. This land is ours. <laughs> this land is our land. I want you to have fear. Don't actually block. So that means they have more protection, likely. All right, well, Fizz is down to one toughness. Could still be good. Should have just played the Ember Maiden last turn. They want to attack through, they do, you know, you gotta play proactively. So they played something proactively, but they didn't pump the toughness. So unless they have Radiant Strike, like basically they need Radiant Strike or Fizz is dead. Or uh, Chain Vest. You know, like they need one of those one mana cards. Hopefully they don't have that. And hopefully that'll be it for Fizz. Because they can't do it on my turn. You know, they can't untap and then have more mana and then use a, you know, use it like a standalone or whatever. Oh, come on. Well, they had they had it. That levels up Fizz. I'll kill Swain. Force them to play just a, you know, a ton of spells. They'll probably, like, run out eventually, right? Like, unless, unless Fizz really is, like, their only, their only thing. They, like, they're... Basically, they're forced to play stuff pre-combat to give this elusive, and then they're forced to play stuff, you know, during combat and removal-wise and everything. <laughs> no, they're, they're never going to run out. Yeah, GG's. Lost to the Fizz gimmick. Fight 
I don't think my opponent's deck is any good. You know, we played it yesterday, and it was not any good. But sometimes, you know, sometimes you just have everything line up for you. And that's what happened here. Let's go wide. You must be Lord Vladimir. And you must be Scout's really strong. Yeah, the scout mechanics are real strong. It looks good. Um, the lower cost units that have scout, or like the lower power and toughness un units that have scout, um, they're still real strong because getting the, you know, getting two attacks is just really strong. Um, it's not like, like I'm not complaining about it, saying it's too strong or anything like that. I'm just saying it's a, it's a good strong mechanic to build around. Yeah, Grizzled, uh, Grizzled Ranger. That card is absurdly strong. The 4-1 uh, scout that whenever it dies makes a 4-4. Four, four. All right, so they got this one. Unless I draw a removal for the Fizz. So yeah, like, like Noxion Guillotine. Would really be the best draw. This is 14 if they don't block with this, right? Isn't this 14? Yeah. Like, what are they doing? Why aren't they blocking? Cool, Choco. Yeah, we played. We yeah, we played a, a Swain Gangplank deck yesterday. Called it Swain Plank. Yeah, played played that kind of deck yesterday. Yeah, I like Swain. Oh, really? Even struggling against Toss? I found that's pretty easy to go under to go under the Toss decks. I think the Tabasia decks are very well positioned against Toss. I guess if you're, if you're like just like all burn spells, that may not do as well. Yeah, that was so risky by them. If I would have just played, man, if I just had an Elixir of Iron, if this thing cost a little less, if I had an Elixir of Iron to save that, they would have died. That was very risky. They don't have a spell to give it elusive. Dang. I 
That's so perfect. That is so perfect. Like, just flavor-wise, everything. For, like, what that card does. Like, that's just so perfect. I was having friends for dinner anyway. I think we would win that matchup a very large percent of the time. But they had, you know, they had every single card they needed. Right when they needed it. So, GG. But opponent's deck is not very good. Alright, uh, let's see. Another game. We got Misfortune Quinn. Misfortune Quinn's good. Let's give this a try. Yeah, luck's not on our side today. Luck is not on our side. It wasn't either. It wasn't yesterday either. I'll try anyone. Yeah, that's just how the pairings go. Like, it, pairings usually kind of go in clumps and everything. Demacia is not overpowered. I know that's all we're, we're facing, but it's not. Demacia is not overpowered. Love that Elixir of Iron. That's a great draw. Can we play like six Elixir of Irons? This card's always so good. Yeah, that Bloodsworn Pledge has not looked very good. At four mana is just... Seems so much. But there isn't really a... There probably That probably needs to be replaced. Even like the game that I played with this deck off stream, um, that card did not look good. It was just, just a card that I never wanted to play. Never had the ability to play. I was, was always doing other stuff. That's probably our worst card in our deck. The thing about it is, is it combos really, really well with the three drop, the three two, that does one damage to everything every turn. Because you get to pump the toughness on that card. But besides that. Um, Fight or die! Not doing a whole lot else. The ocean charts our course. I know we get to do four damage to them if I target the Crimson Disciple, but I don't want to turn the Crimson Disciple into a 2 1 when there's Nimble Poros around and stuff. Yeah, probably Take Heart. Take Heart would, would be better. Yeah, take heart would definitely be better. Always forward. Yeah, take take heart would be a lot better. A fight. Routes closed.
Doesn't seem like a very good single combat. I'm sure they'll have better use for that single combat. Or had, would, have, would have had better use just playing something else. Like playing like a 5 drop or something. That creature was about to turn into a 2-1 that I had. So all they did was use a single combat to kill a 2-1. And I feel like single combat can be a lot more valuable than just kill a 2-1. Like if, if they don't cast it at all, I'm just sitting with the 2-1. Yeah, after this game, we'll take out those Bloodsworn Pledges and put in Take Hearts. It's a good suggestion. That'll be an upgrade. Yeah, and, and they were... Yeah, that's true. They were kind of setting themselves up where if I had a, a trick... Could have been worse for them. Stop scratching that carpet like that. Times made me wise, not patient. One suffers, another thrives. Could have Noxion guillotined and killed this thing and then um, use the transfusion, do like a damage to the Vladimir and pump up the Raider. And, you know, I could have killed both their things and kept everything alive. But I feel, feel like our uh, Noxion guillotine can potentially do more. And it's okay, they can have... We'll have a ward chefs out there. That's fine. Um. So I could do the three damage to the, the Scythria, then my Nocturne Guillotine kills both of them. They are at four, though. This does three damage to anything, so... That is... Some incentive right there as well. Don't hold back. That's wrong. Hand to the face. That's better. No one goes hungry. So my plan is to do this and then guillotine down both of these things. And then next turn, play Leviathan. And then finish them off with Fervor. Single combat would be rough, but still should be able to finish them off. All right, cool. Your taste is impeccable. 
It's a good win. Good win against a good deck. Alright, so we want Take Heart. Two of these instead of these pledges. That's an upgrade. Yeah, good thing they burned that single combat earlier. Alright, I'll edit the deck on Mobile Addicts also. Honestly, I, I probably should just be mulliganing the Crimson Disciple with this hand, right? I want to go Raider into Ember Maven. We're definitely playing the Ember Maven on turn three. It's just Demacia everywhere. I think they pass back and just don't attack. Head to the base. You can't fight on an empty stomach. Maybe we want a death's hand to kill the war chefs. Guess I could do that. Touche. Get a four four. Elixir of Iron. That card's so good. That card's so good. Um. I trade Crimson, trade Crimson Disciple for Escaped Abom Abomination. Now the Ember Maiden will finish this off. This land is ours. I did, Dan. Yeah, I did. Um, I will keep working on that. This Callista is scary. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's very scary. Remember the objectives. Was I supposed to uh, use Elixir of Iron and keep that 3-2 alive still? Maybe. How, do you, how does anybody ever beat Grizzled Ranger? How does anybody ever beat this card?
Now they have a 4-4 that also gets, you know, they, they get to just attack again. Had like everything be 4 power. How does anybody ever beat that card? I guess, I guess Callista levels up, I guess. Doesn't seem good for me. Like, all, I, all we did was just use two cards to deal with that Badger Bear, and it dealt damage to me, and it was two things dying for their Callista. And, and you know, and it turned this thing into one toughness instead of three. Yes! Nocturne Guillotine! They gotta be too scared to block, right? They just take the five. What? It's gotta be Rekindler. bad for me. This thing's got overwhelmed, so it's all good. Still doing five damage. No rekindler, don't do it. No. GG's. Yeah, I think this is a bad matchup. I mean, I think this is a bad matchup for everybody. I mean... That that kind of deck that my opponent's playing, I think, is is the best deck. Uh, that's you know the Demacia Sacrifice. That's the deck that I, I I mean it's it's a little my Demacia Sacrifice is a little bit different than that. Like I'm using Lucian, not not uh, Thresh and stuff. Like it's a little different. But that deck is that's the deck I've been playing off stream mostly to rank up. It's it's really good. We went 5-0 with it on stream uh, two days ago and. Uh, the last couple days, days playing, I've only lost one. I lost one game to aggro. That was, I've only lost one game with it so far. Uh, but anyway, yeah. So, uh, I don't know. Um, our deck didn't feel powerful enough. We had like some some cool little things going on, but people like other other decks were just more powerful. Um, yeah, that's kind of the thing. You know, Death's Lotus, Blades Edge. You know, we have a lot of, like, kind of cheaper cards, but I don't know. It seems like we need more power. So, yeah, right right now, I'd say that that's my favorite deck. Right now is the, the Demacia Sacrifice we played. I kind of think I want to take out one, um, one of the Undyings from that list. Okay, so, okay. So no, this is number 15, like I said, uh, that they've climbed fast with this deck against a lot of Ezreals. Okay. Yeah, we didn't face any Ezreal. We just faced Demacia every single round and kind of got beaten down. Didn't have enough power to in other mid-range decks. Take our would have helped. That would have helped. Um, yeah, I could see I could see doing well against some Ezreals uh, where like they would really struggle killing Ruthless Raider and uh, your Crimson Curator gets you some more cards. Um, and then just like your incidental damage like adds up before they kill you. Yeah, I could definitely see this doing well against Ezreal. Yep, I can see that. And then like these bigger creatures are really hard for them to deal with with Swain and Vladimir. So yeah, especially the the twisted Ezreal deck. Um, I see I see this being a, a real good matchup against that. All right, there we go. That's Vladimir Swain. Um, yep, yeah, on to on to our next one. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. If you're having fun with Vladimir or anything like that, feel free to leave those comments. All right, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. Some Vladimir Swain, and I'll see you for the next video.